y'all this your girl Giggs welcome back to the channel whenever I'm wearing a wig cap y'all I already know what time it is so I'm about to do a wig review this is gonna be a fairly new type of wig it is from free Tress equal and this is a natural hairline lace front by the name of star this is what star looks like yes and the reason why I said it's fairly new, which is really not new to me, but they just say it's new, is um they have baby hairs in the back as well as in the front. So they have like a natural hairline with the baby hairs in the front as well as in the back. So let me just show y'all the tag and everything. As you can see, there's uh, hair in the front as well as baby hair in the back and the um, hairline I'm not sure if y'all could see the hairline on this part right here I'm going to show y'all actually but it's like a curvy like hairline it's not like one of those you know what I'm saying straight cut edged up type of hairlines but um, I'm going to get ready to show y'all that in a minute the color that I got today y'all is F33 slash 32 slash 240 Y'all already know that I like trying different color wigs. So this is F33, 32, 240. And again, the wig is called Star. And this is the color of the wig. And as you can see, Miss Girl is kind of long, y'all. She looks like she's like 22 inches worth of hair. So, yeah. And look at the baby hairs, y'all. Do so y'all see that? Look at the baby hairs on her. Looks like some, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes baby hairs don't look good on a wig, so don't get me to lie to y'all. What I'm going to do is cut the lace off of her. And the lace is kind of hard, too kind of to me it's kind of hard but you know I can work with hard lace what I'm gonna do is cut the lace off of her and we're gonna give her a better look but look at those curls on her y'all she's like a wavy curl pattern um yeah we're gonna go ahead and just cut the lace off and I'll be right back with you guys so I went ahead and cut all of the lace off the wig and I noticed as I cut the lace off that this wig has baby hairs all around the perimeter of the lace like all in the front of the wig so there's baby hairs ear to ear on this wig no lie I'm gonna show you in a minute um, but it does have like at least a half an inch worth of parting room as you can see and it do have two combs in the front and then it has a comb in the back with the adjustable straps and I told you guys that it does have baby hair in the back look at that baby hair it kinda look like it's nappy hair <laughs> to be honest it really looks like a bunch of nappy hair but this wig is made for you to wear it in an updo so being that it's the summer I mean it does look pretty on you I mean I seen the mannequin I didn't try it on yet but it does look pretty on a mannequin when she wears it down but being that it's the summer I would not suggest anyone to wear a long 22 inch wig like this down you feel me but it's up to you you can do what you want to do but I wouldn't wear it down so this wig would be great for the summer because it's made for you to wear it in a updo so that's the reason why they got the baby hairs in the back so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the straps to the size of my head and I'm gonna show you exactly what she looks like once I put her on but I really like the colors on this wig y'all the colors on this wig um, it says that it is reddish brown plus dark orange red plus gold blonde frosted those are the colors so yeah it's a nice color blend 
and everything. Yeah, real nice. And it's it's like the the curl pattern on this wig is as if you curled it and the curls dropped. It's like a a drop curl pattern or whatever. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try Miss Star on, and we're gonna see what she looks like on me. So, yeah. Real pretty, y'all. Real pretty. Like, for real. I don't get the cowardly lion with this one. The other one, um, Cindy, before I flat ironed her, it was too curly. The curls was too tight. So, yeah. This one right here looks just right. Just right. Now, we're going to look at the edges of this wig, the um, hairline, really, of this wig. Because it doesn't look like it's been edged up at all. As you can see, it don't look like it's been edged up at all. This is the hairline. And, as you can see, baby hair is all around the perimeter of the wig. I'm just pulling them out so you guys can see them. Y'all see that? All of that is baby hair. And it's around the whole entire wig. I'm still pulling them out, y'all. So y'all can see how the baby hairs is. Now all of that is baby hair. Y'all see that? That's all baby hair. Now I don't think that I can wear the wig like this where, where the baby hairs is in the front like that, like that just don't even look right for real, right? Like that does not look right. I'm finna zoom out so y'all can see. You probably can't see the difference because the baby hairs is like my skin tone. But you could see the baby hairs. Looks like a faded out bang or something. Look at that. Like for real, who would wear their hair like that? But, you know, to each his own. They're, they're there for a reason. It's optional if you want to wear it like, you know, like this or not. But, um, I would just brush the baby hairs back into the hair. Just like that. That's exactly what I would do. You can get some water or some spritz and just blend it into the hair. But the way that I was wearing it, I would not do that. So, I would wear it like this with some of the baby hairs showing. But all of those baby hairs, I would not do at all. But if you ask me, the baby hairs is really not called for on this wig. If not. Now, we're going to look at the baby hairs in the back. I really like this wig, y'all. For real. I don't know how I would style it. But I really like it. Style it one side going over. Ah, it's too much of tea out of me. Okay, let me um turn around so y'all can see what she looks like in the back. This is the back of her. This is the back. And as far as the updo, because this wig is made for updo, it's supposed to be baby hair back here, which it is. Baby hair for you to wear it in the updo. I can't see the back of my head right now. But it feels like the baby hair is 
slick down and everything. So that's how it's supposed to be if you would wear it in an updo. The baby hair would be like that if you could have seen that or not. Like I have to actually watch the video once it's done to see exactly what it looked like. But yeah. So yeah, she's about 22, 20 to 22 inches long. As you can see, she stopped right in the breast area. So, yeah, I'm I'm liking Miss Star. Miss Star is a good wig, y'all. She's stringy. Um, I'm getting my hand caught in it a little bit because I think I cut some of the the hairline a little too far back on the sides and stuff. So I'm getting a little bit of um shedding and everything. But that's about it every wig sheds but yeah I'm feeling this hair again I wouldn't wear this in the summer because it's too damn hot to be wearing some long ass hair in the summer but the color I'm really loving the color I'm really loving the feel of this wig and I'm not just saying it just to be saying it I really do like this wig for real this is one of the wigs that I like so I would be wearing her probably just for some videos but as far as wearing her outside I, I, I won't wear her outside unless I'm wearing her in an updo again this wig is made for you to wear it in an updo or whatever so let me just pin the other side it's so many different ways you can wear a wig y'all you can pin it any kind of way you want this wig right here is a good long, long length of wig too. So, yeah, you can wear it any kind of way you want. Um, another thing about this wig is it is curling iron safe. Yes, it is curling iron safe. And it says that uh, it is a new front and rear realistic baby hair for the ultimate natural look. Uh, hassle free secure fitting with no glue no tape feature so it's not required to wear glue or tape but if you want to wear glue or tape you could wear glue or tape with the wig and I prefer this is just what I prefer the 32nd either daily hold glue or the 32nd everyday um, I'm sorry extreme hold glue this is the extreme hold glue. I have the daily hold glue somewhere around here somewhere. And daily hold just meaning that you're just wearing it for one day. And I just normally just put glue right here. On the sides, I would um, just take some bobby pins and pin it on the side if I have to. It don't look like I need bobby pins for this wig at all for the sides. Because the sides is actually sitting down on the temple of my head I want to give a shout out before I leave to my girl Pink Pussycat uh, here on YouTube and she has her own website ladypink.com with her jewelry uh, this is a necklace set that I got for her this is gold and as you can see it has the spider web the spider with rhinestones on it a snake as well as like the gecko like the gecko lizard as you can see and it's a set it comes with a pair of earrings that has the spiders on it it has the spiders on the earring I don't know if y'all can see that or not but that's what it looks like but um the earrings kind of too small I like big earrings I wear these little small dangle earrings, but child boo, I'd rather wear my big earrings, but I like the necklace, so y'all check her out at ladypink.com, that's L-A-Y-D-P-Y-N-K.com, check her out, she got some good stuff over there, so this is your girl Gigs with Miss Star, let me know what you guys think, bye.